Hey everyone, Kara here with Friday Night Light Ministries in Berrien Springs, Michigan. Thank you for watching this episode of Reload. So, let me ask you a question. Did you ever hear, watch your mouth as a kid? I know I did from time to time, and really, it is very, very, very good advice. Seriously. Are any of you ever irritated by your spouse or your kids or your coworkers or whomever, right? I know I am. I'm raising my hand. I better not be the only one raising my hand because I know y'all get frustrated sometimes. Even if you're a Christian, even if you're a ministry leader, we aren't really all that different from each other. But what makes us different is how we respond to those irritations. You see, we actually get to choose how we respond to situations and circumstances. We get to choose. It's our choice. Do you understand that? It's your choice how you respond. It's your choice what comes flowing out of your mouth. And what comes out of your mouth matters a lot, a whole lot. If you start staying, saying stuff like, my spouse is an idiot, my kids are lazy, they don't have a good work ethic, or my coworker sucks, or whatever, 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 whatever come flowing, comes flowing out of your mouth, you're actually calling that into being. You're actually going to make that happen. God created the world using words, spoken words. So there is power in our words. People, there's power in our words. All throughout scripture, the Bible talks about our words. Here's a couple examples for you. James 3, 8 to 10. But the tongue is not able to be tamed. It's a fickle, unrestrained evil that spews out words full of toxic poison. We use our tongue to praise God our Father and then turn around and curse a person who was made in his very image. Out of the same mouth, we pour out words of praise one minute and curses the next. My brothers and sisters, this should never be. I mean, that's true. We can't even argue with that. 100% true. Ephesians 4.29 says, And never let ugly or hateful words come from your mouth, but instead let your words become beautiful gifts that encourage others. Do this by speaking words of grace to help them. Look, God gave us a ton of grace. All we have to do is give it to other people. And what does spewing out ugly words do for us anyway? Does it make us feel any better? No, it just riles us up even more. Seriously. What, do, what it does is it completely relinquishes control to the enemy. Like we literally will choose to give him control when we spew ugly stuff out of our mouth. And that's never, ever, ever, ever a good idea. So when you're irritated, watch your mouth. When you're frustrated, watch your mouth. When everyone around you is driving you crazy, watch your mouth. It is your choice. It isn't your kid's fault. It isn't your spouse's fault. It isn't your coworker's fault. What comes out of your mouth is your fault alone. If you struggle in this area, and a lot of people do, repent, ask God to help you. You're not an idiot, you know what to do. Repent, renew your mind by reading the word and ask God to help you see people who frustrate you the way he sees them. Because he sees them for all that they can be, not for who they are in this moment right now. And ask for help. Be transparent with someone around you. Say, look, I really struggle in this area and I need help with my words. It's okay to ask for help. It's okay to be transparent. It's okay to say you have weaknesses in certain areas. And here's a tip you can do right away. Breathe. Just breathe. When you breathe, instead of opening your mouth and letting whatever comes to mind run out of it, you give yourself a moment to choose what comes next. So breathe, take a moment, just breathe. It's simple, simple, simple. And I'll leave you with this scripture, Proverbs 16, 24. Nothing is more appealing than speaking beautiful, life-giving words, for they release sweetness to our souls and inner healing to our spirits. So thank you for watching. If you haven't liked our page yet on Facebook, please do so today. You can find us on Facebook and YouTube at Friday Night Light, Instagram at The Friday Light. So go ahead and follow us over there. Um, and for more information or to give or to support this ministry, please go to FridayNightLight.us. Have a great week and remember to watch your words. Have a great day.